Paging Dr. Spooky! Dr. Spooky! 80s horror movie reviews! Dr. Spooky! Dr. Spooky! Horrible movies for you to view! Dr. Spooky! Dr. Spooky! You won't like anything you see, but that's cool! Dr. Spooky! 80s horror movie reviews! <laughs> What are you doing? I swear it wasn't me. I was too drunk to operate that day. I was too sober. Who, who, who was that? Dr. Spooky? Oh, it's you. What do you want? It's an emergency. What? I don't have time for this. I got to do the show and... Yeah, I just got to do the show. But it's my brother. Oh, all right, come on, let's go. the patient. And to do that correctly, you first need to know uh, temperature. You need to take his temperature. Yes. So let me see. Uh, where's my thermometer? I can't. Ah. Oh. Oh. Uh. Mm. <clears throat> ah. In a thermometer. Oh, that's a tight fit, huh? Keeps it light. Okay. Oh, no, that's not good. And I'm gonna have to do some surgery here, I think. But uh, while I'm doing that, let's get to the movie review. It's, it's a great film. <clears throat> it's a shitty film called Real Horror from 1985. Well, do you want from me? That's all. I'll be, watch the review. Real Horror. Made in 1985. It's something. It's not a movie, but it's something. It starts out with a copyright notice that takes up as much space as the title. Next, we have a narrator doing a bargain basement Wolfman Jack impression. The outfit presents real horror. <laughs> a truly horrible. Then we have a list of the very special guest stars. No sense really paying attention because they're, well, they're not in the movie. I'll explain later. So this is when we get to the actual movie. This is the opening scene. It'll tell you all you need to know. Yes, it looks like someone left the haunted house set unlocked and a bunch of weirdos decided to make a movie there. But don't worry, you only have to watch that for about uh, 30 minutes. I'll explain later. First, we open with a gay pervert grandpa with a small lizard up his butt. He's complaining about something. I have no idea what because, and this is the worst part about the movie, you can't understand a thing that's going on! He meets up with a Borg glam rock fortune teller with a sultry voice. Mary Mulgan, your troubles are over. Irving, we have an exorcism to perform. With her sidekick, Irving, who may or may not be a little person, as he's not as tall as everyone else. 
That's right. No stereotyping in this show. They're attacked by uh, old movie footage. Yes, that is what I said. Old movie footage. And so they go into the projector room run by old man Billy Idol with a John Holmes mustache. He too has a small lizard up his butt. And the movie extras, um, they look like they've just seen a live action lemon party. As the cast realizes that the old footage is evil, they decide something must be done. Not that, but one can only dream. And when I say attacked by old footage, what I mean is they're watching it on the screen. Now, going back to what I was uh, talking about before, here's how the film is structured. You have idiots doing a silly sketch which involves footage from a 70s movie. Silly sketch. 70s movie. Repeat. Repeat? Seven fucking times! No, I would describe the rest of this movie to you, but I've only been paid to review one movie, not seven. Eh, I'm a generous host. I'll do three more. Number two. The sketch is about, uh, well, uh, something with makeup? With the footage being from the film Savage Abduction. Part three. There's a woman who's complaining about being fat, I think? Uh, footage from the butchers is being shown while this is going on. Number four. Something about, uh... Alice in Wonderland wandering the halls from the hotel in The Shining? Yeah, this is combined with footage from the movie Nicole. Alright, that's enough. Now, in case you haven't guessed, this movie is a real piece of shit. I would be embarrassed to show this to my friends, much less paying customers. So in other words, worst clip show ever! In case you need convincing, Here's a few examples of the various elements, including acting, lighting, sound effects, whatever. Acting. Lighting. Special effects. Cinematography. Now, let me leave you with this vital image burned into your brain, guaranteed to haunt you until the day you die. So, that was Real Horror from 1985. It's not a movie, it's not funny, it's not scary, it's not anything but a complete waste of time. But, that's why you come here, for the quality flicks. <laughs> now, let's get back to the surgery. Now, brain surgery is a very delicate surgery. Other than the, uh, <clears throat> it's the most delicate there is. So, when you're doing brain surgery, remember, you only have one brain. So you mess up, that's it. No second chances. So you have to use the proper tools when doing brain surgery. Now this is not a proper tool. That would be ridiculous to use something like this, wouldn't it? This, this is the proper tool. So here I go. <clears throat> Dr. Spooky Brain Surgery 101. We go very delicately like this and we Oh, well, ha, that didn't go as expected, did it? <laughs> uh, Dr. Spooky, where's my brother? Um, well, there were some complications. What are we going to do now? Fire up the grill? Ah! Okay, well, there's not much I can do at this point. Um, so, uh, thank you for watching Dr. Spooky 80s Movie Review Show, episode number two. Um, and I guess that's it for now. So, good night, boys and girls. Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. Come on, lunchtime. Come on, where are you? Come on.